the Silicon Valley for textiles in Taiwan. Taiwan's textile industry is equipped with comprehensive industrial clusters and an integrated supply chain from upstream to downstream segments actively engaged in global deployment. It provides flexible production, quick responses, and customized services. Known internationally for its innovative technology, Taiwan's textile industry not only implements strict product inspection and quality control and practices sustainability, but also strives toward automation and intelligentization. Thus, Taiwan can be called the Silicon Valley for textiles. With abundant innovative R&D capacity and designability, Taiwan's plentiful textile talents and teams are fully capable of generating creative ideas and developing multi-application products. Taiwan is an indispensable partner for international brands. Climate change has damaged the global environment. Practical actions are taken by the industry to protect nature, conserve resources, and reduce pollution. Recycle and reuse practices are employed to create circular models for sustainable, continuous development. With the development of IoT and AI, Taiwan's high-tech advantages are incorporated to keep in step with Industry 4.0. In wearable smart textiles, to enhance buyers' experiences and create a new smart and healthy lifestyle, AR and VR interactive technologies are utilized. Athleisure and fashion, outdoor and sports, home and lifestyle, medical and protective, technical and industrial, Taiwan offers a multitude of textiles for a variety of applications to meet the needs of a diversity of lifestyles. Taiwan's textile industry will continue to innovate, research and develop green and functional products and build sustainable value chains to create endless possibilities for the comfort of our lives. Taiwan the new Silicon Valley of the global textile industry. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Textile Online New Product Launch. This is Even, your host of the day. This event is organized by the Taiwan Textile Federation. It's a non-profit organization commissioned by the Bureau of Foreign Trade. Ministry of Economy Affairs to implement the textile export promotion project. This project is to bring you the premier textile suppliers and their sustainable, innovative and intelligent products. We all know that Taiwan has been recognized as a trusted, worthy partner of the international brands with our capacity of research and design. Therefore, in today's launch, we will give you the newest, the cutting edge, and also the most creative products. Ladies and gentlemen, now please allow me to introduce you four company that is going to present. Creative Tech Textile Company, Evertex Fabrinology Limited, Mansion Fiber Industrial Company, and Asian Textile Industrial Company. Are you ready? Sit tight and fasten your seatbelt. That's showtime! When we're talking about the most important issue in the world, what would you think about? Yes, the environmental protection. The so next company we're going to introduce you is Creative Tech Textile. This company is established in year 2010 and with the core value of environmental protection and sustainable development. With this company, it's a young company, but their core value makes them has the patented technology of seawall and the smart wall. With these two patents, they have already won the global and international awards. So ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to follow me and join the fabric trick? Yes, let's go and I'll give you the creative tech textile. Oysters are the delicacy of the sea, delicious and sublime, but the shells are discarded and forgotten. 
we seek the opportunity to give them new life. Taking a step of faith, we see the earth can be better. Sustainable living brings us to a new chapter for a better wearing experience. Hi, I'm Iris Chen, representing Creative Tech Textile to introduce innovative products for you. We know everyone is looking for interesting, innovational fabric and technique in the worldwide textile supply chain, which is full of new concepts and trends each season. Uh, from these inquiries from our customer, we can notice sustainability is always the core value the customer wants. This is our seawall fabric and small warm insulation for outdoor activities. What makes this special? It is made of recycled PET bottles and oyster shell originate in Taiwan. When it comes to Taiwan, people may not want to miss one of the most famous traditional delicacy, oyster. We call it the sea, uh, the milk of the sea. Uh, in Taiwan, oyster farming has been existed for more than 300 years. The annual production value is up to uh, 200 million US dollar. However, it comes with a 160 tons of shells will be discarded. Then here comes the problem. How to deal with those huge amount of shells like you see in the picture? Unfortunately, um, those shells are not disposed properly. Most of them are discarded uh, and piled up a side of the road with bad smell that influence the environment, the place we live. We Creative Take spent 10 years doing research and experiment with expertise and local oyster farmer to figure out how to reuse these shells in the textile. We collect the oyster shell, make it go through brushing, grinding, and compounding with recycled plastic bottom material till the final yarn spinning process and insulation production. Let's talk about the small warm insulation first. We have three different structures, small warm insulation, small warm padding, small warm down like, small warm ball. We imitate the guard hair of the polar bears, small worms hollow, spiral, and layers of sheet create more spaces to store the heat. Also, low conductivity decreases the heat loss through your skin. And we also wear the small one jacket for the fail test at minus five degree. Imagine that you are camping in the winter, um, but ran into a heavy rain on the way collecting woods for campfire. Your goose down jacket is getting wet and hardly keep you warm. Then how are you gonna do? The small one jacket here is a problem solver. Oyster shell provided with low functions, quick dry, breathable, antibacterial, antistatic, and anti-odor. You may wonder why it has low functions without chemical treatment. Uh, we prefer to say uh, it's the talent oyster shell born with. Its alkaline property inhibit the growth of the bacteria, eliminating the odor caused by sweat. Also, the trace mineral decreases the static happen. And if we on, uh, observe the yarn under the microscope, you can see many pieces of scales embedded on the yarn surface, which is similar to the natural wool fiber that it makes ha it has the woolen touch. Since it is like the wool from the sea, that's why we named it sea wool. Sea wool product collection includes quick dry UPF protective shirts, uh, cable flannel shirt blended with cotton, knitting base layer or mid layer well, with stretchy for many kinds of outdoor activities. Even the oyster shell powder can be applied to the 
thermal print and coating material for uh, athletes. After, after the exercise, it can facilitate the blood circulation. And so far, we learned that the smart worm and sea worm is not only the material, uh, recycled material based with interesting stories, but also with multi-functions given by natural property of the shell. So our products are patented and given recognition from worldwide, like I've Design Award, uh, Red Dot Award, and famous Expo Best Products. Last but not least, uh, as a we creative textile, as a supplier in the textile supply chain, it is decided to be the part of making contribution to the circular economy and sustainability. Sea wool and small warm exist for the environment in the better wearing experience. Contact us for more information. Thank you. Hi Iris, wow, your presentation is very eye-catching and the product is very special. So I have a few questions for you. Yes. The first question is about the seawall. Yes. Okay, about the seawall, uh, we have learned some specialty about it, including the fast drying mm -hmm. and the warm keeping and also the air permeability. Yes. So is this material is suitable for only winter sports events or also summer? Yes, also summer is a, a suitable season for our products. Uh, as we mentioned before, the low conductivity. In winter, the low conductivity can uh, decrease the heat loss mm -hmm. through the skin. On the other hand, uh, in summer, when you exposure to the sun, and the low conductivity also help to uh, decrease the solar heat conducting to your skin quickly. Mm. That's why you can feel much cooler. Oh, so this kind of fabric that you can use it in warm and you can use it in cool. Wow, but you see we have learned that it's with the powder of the oyster yes. shell, right? Yes. Is that powder will in fact, you know, the dyeing things make the clothes look, you know, the color? Uh, yes, actually see what is the uh, polyester based mm -hmm. material. So the dyeing method, dye stuff, it are the same as the normal polyester. Oh, so it's no difference but more function. Yes. Wow. So next question is about the small worm. Could you yes. introduce more about that? Okay, then I will do a little test. Test. Yes. Okay. What kind of test? Um, <laughs> there are two samples. Okay, two samples. And I'll put on your hands. Mm -hmm. Then you tell me what you feel. Then tell me which is which. Okay, magic time. Okay. So two hands, two cotton. Oh, not, not cotton. Two. One cotton and maybe one small worm. Yes. Okay. Wow. I feel something. It's very weird because one of the thing put on my hand and I feel immediately heat on my hand. But that heat doesn't go up. It just keep there. Yes. I guess this one is the smart one, right? Yes, correct. So cotton, bye bye. <laughs> so could you tell us how does it happen? Why I feel the heat and the heat just, I'm already a little bit sweat. <laughs> okay, yes. please. So as we mentioned, the smart one is mm -hmm. imitate the polar bear structure. It contains lots of spaces mm -hmm. that can store the heat. And also the low conductivity property can mm -hmm. help to decrease the heat loss through your skin. So that's why you can feel your body temperature keeping uh, on the surface of your skin. Oh wow, so I became the polar bear. <laughs> 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 so what kind of this, you know, the smart warm, how can we make it into products? What kind of product? Um, from any kind of outdoor mm -hmm. activities like on ski wear, like, oh, like so the winter sports, yes, winter all the jackets, sports, jackets uh -huh. um, for mountain climbing, mm -hmm. skis, snowboard, mm -hmm. and even the gloves. Also, oh, gloves. E yes, even the uh, uh, sleeping sleeping bag. Sleeping bag. bag. Yeah. Okay. So you're impressed by the polar bear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can I try mm. a little bit? Sorry, I, I gotta harass you okay. for a little moment. Oh. So that means 
Whenever we put on the jacket, we will feel a little bit cold at first and then we'll get used to it. But now with a smart warm, you will feel your temperature when you're putting yes. on anything, yes. right? Amazing! This kind of product, smart warm and seawall is from Creative Tech Textile. Waiting for you to enjoy. Oh, hi! I'm Evan. I hate mosquito, especially in summertime, because I don't like a jacket. It's too hot. But when you have the spray, it's sticky and smell. I don't like it. Who can help us from the attraction of mosquito? Hey, today we have a new material called mosquito repellent fabric. It's from a company called Evertex Fabrinology Limited. It's the following company who are going to come here and doing the presentation. They are focused on the environmental protection and also their quality is supported by Blue Side Ocotex, quality by ISO 9001 and Hikindex. Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, showtime! Evertex is a company we always aim ourselves performance textile with a sense of sustainability. Before I get into the details with the product lines, I would like to give you a two minutes uh, company profile so you know where we came from. They wear products that not only help them win races, but also outperform their previous achievements. They wear products that not only keep them comfortable in any weather conditions, but also allow them to take on challenges that no one else dares to try. They wear products that not only inspire their yoga practice, but also help them find their inner spiritual beings. We make products that not only promise the best quality, but empowers users with the same innovative spirit built into every thread. We are Evertex, a vertically integrated fabric manufacturer that focuses on product development and innovation. Our expertise can be clearly seen in each step of the manufacturing process. We respect the environment and view sustainability as the ultimate goal. Our extensive research and development ability has earned the company international recognition in performance textile, as well as being one of the most environmentally friendly manufacturers in Taiwan. For we believe that since 1988, sustainability has always been the driving force behind our passion. Utilizing the hands-on approach with clients to develop quality, award-winning products that address consumers' needs. Our experience has presented the opportunity to work with distinguished clients in the field, such as Arcteryx, Miele, Nerona, Peak Performance, and Seven Mesh, to name a few. We strive for outstanding performance in every aspect of our profession to provide the best results for our customers. Our mission is to always exceed client expectations and explore new possibilities while being sustainable. At Evertex, where passion breeds innovation. There's another part I would like to highlight here is Evertex is actually the first textile mill in the northern Taiwan that equipped with the solar power system. 
So every year we can save approximately a thousand tons of uh, oxygen dioxide every year. And this is simply just to show you that the sustainable sustainability is the DNA of Evertex. So today I'm very honored and pleased to uh, be here to present you our two concepts in terms of the uh, product line. The first concept I would like to share with you is mosquito repellent fabric. And the second concept I'm going to go through is the uh, microplastic reduction issue. So for the, uh, the first concept we are, we are talking about here, uh, we try to target with the apparel applications like farming, like workwear, and also like hiking, cycling, all these activities that you, you go for the outdoors. So my team actually went to the uh, uh, field test to do the wearing test to see how our material works and uh, how it performs. So we went to the uh, mountains and rice fields and forests and tried to collect those uh, mosquitoes and see how, how it is. And to see is to believe. So we prepared 30 seconds uh, little video that we recorded while we do the wearing test and you will see how it is. So our mosquito repellent fabric, it is non-chemical treated. It, the functionality is when we designed it, it is through the constructions. So a piece, the whole piece of the garments, actually it can be recyclable. It's a, it's a mono-component uh, fabric. So we don't need to worry about, we need to resolve certain part of the fibers. And, but people might ask me, is this a mosquito repellent fabric very heavy or is not comfortable to wear? Or is it the only feature of the fabric? Um, definitely not. So when we have and design these materials, it is highly breathable and it is a very cottonish hem feel and you put it on, it's a very bulky hem feel. It feels much lighter than the actual weight. And most important thing is also equipped with the uh, UV cut. It is a 40 plus UV cut. So whenever you go for the outdoor, you don't need to be worried, oh, there's a mosquito bite or there is a sunburn because it's a naturally inherent of, this, uh, of our fabrics. So this is the uh, mosquito repellent fabrics that I, I'd like to show you today. And another concept we are talking about is the uh, microplastic reduction fabrics. Before we go into the fabrics, the technology, I, I need to give you a little background why this microfiber issue is so heavily impact to everybody. There's a little presentation I would like to show you. Every time we wash synthetic fabrics, whether they're made from recycled bottles or brand new materials, super tiny pieces of plastic called microfibers wash off and flow down the drain up to hundreds of thousands each wash. The older our clothes get, the worse the problem can become. Yikes! These fibers are so tiny, water treatment plants don't catch them all, so they wind up in rivers, lakes, and even the ocean. When they reach the ocean, they act like sponges, sucking up other pollutants around them. They're like little toxic bombs full of motor oil, pesticides, and industrial chemicals that end up in the bellies of fish, and eventually in the bellies of us. It's gross. So with all these explanations, we see how heavily it influences everybody, the pollution, the microfiber pollution. Just try to imagine every week we go to the oceans, we take 54 plastic bags and then we throw it into the ocean. That bad it is. So to have these uh, solutions, every test we have two approaches for that. The first approach is we try to use the animal or the cellular plants and try to have the uh, benefits all together. With all these animal and cellular uh, fibers, it is biodegradable. So even though it's being washed, it, 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 after a certain time, 
it, it, will, it, it will be resolved. So it's not harm to the earth and it's, 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 it's not staying like synthetic materials. As you can see from the illustration for the ten, tensile, at the first week, it stays there, but after 16 weeks, it stays there and then it, it resolves. So it just disappeared. So this is the technology we are talking about that we try to reduce the impact right here. And the second uh, approach to the uh, microfiber reduction we are talking about is we try to do the insulation double layer. So try to think about the sandwich. So it's kind of the sandwich. We have the insulations in between. So we want, once we wash the materials, those thermal regulations uh, or the insulations will still remain in between. It's not as easy as those conventional fleeces. It's very easy to be washed off. So I thank you all very much for listening for the product line that I presented to you. Uh, whenever there's a question, my team and myself will be very honored to answer further details to you at Evertex, where passion breeds innovations. Thank you, Fiona. That's a very nice presentation. Thank you we very much. Learned a lot from your presentation. And is this the legend mosquito repellent fabric clothes? <laughs> yes, this is the one. Uh, my team did the wearing test, the field mm -hmm. test. It is very lightweight. Yes, you feel that yes, it's yes. only it's less than one hundred gram. Wow, less yeah, than one hundred. The whole gram. piece of garment, and it feels like it is breathable, right? It is a very breathable because we target for mm -hmm. outdoor activities. So imagine you need to sweat a lot yes. when you do all these activities. So we definitely need to have a very good wicking and yes. the uh, the breathability. Yeah, and make you feel comfortable and beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. But with this, I have a one question. Yes, please. Uh, we always need to wash our clothes, right? Yes. Will the repellent's ability and performance be influenced by washing? Uh, well, thank you for the very technical questions. <laughs> uh, like I mentioned earlier yes. from the presentation, uh, our mosquito repellent fabric is not because of the uh, chemicals addictives that we put on, mm -hmm. it is by physical. Mm. So regardless how many times of washing that you do, the functionality still remains. Oh wow, so yes. whenever you wear it on, you got armor. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, you are fully protected. <laughs> yeah, and the second question still from your presentation, you yes, mentioned please. a lot of solutions to uh, reduce the microfiber, but why don't you just go for the 100% natural fabric? Hmm, I do get that <laughs> question a lot as oh. well. Uh, people will say, why don't you go for a natural fiber 100% and then all the issues will be solved, there's no problems. Yeah. But imagine, first of all, we don't have that much sources about the mm -hmm. natural fibers. Imagine all the sheep around the world, there's not much <laughs> wool that we can take, right? So for example, just uh, um, let me give you an example mm -hmm. like how we take this concept. Okay. Uh, just try to think about for the car industry. Mm -hmm. We all wanted to have the uh, full fossil engine go directly to the electronic. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, uh, it cannot work directly and uh, like how it is. It still takes time and, and a lot of uh, practice and years and see if the technology is mature or not. Mm -hmm. So if it's uh, safe or if it's uh, okay to go. So. It is, I will consider it as a transactional uh, stage that uh, it's like how it's been, it, we're going to going through this uh, hybrid era. So it's like a textile industry. We still cannot replace those synthetic fibers. Mm -hmm. We still need the functionalities, the durability of, of uh, those man-made fibers. So just imagine that uh, we kind of force the natural fiber and cellulose and get married with the synthetic fabrics and have both in individuals benefits all yes, together. Yes. So we can, um, but meanwhile, when we try to maintain the functionalities, but we still try to try to do something to the world and try to reduce the impact to the ocean and the landfill of yes. the microplastic issue. Wow, that's a very nice explanation. That's very clear and makes sense. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Then you. we understand and today we learn a lot of new things and we get a protection. So ladies and gentlemen, today everything you see is from 
Avatex. Colorful clothes? Yes, I love it! Especially the gradient color like a rainbow. However, you know it's really really hard to get the gradient fabric with bright and sharp performance in color while having no fading, no color losing or migration. But today, we are going to introduce you a new brand, Ombre. It comes from the mainstream fiber industry and you will come here today with their new technology called Dough Dye Yarn. It could have 18 different layers of gradient color with only one master batch. In the meanwhile, when they have in the producing process, they can save 50% of energy and reduce 60% of CO2 while saving 75% of water and 90% of chemical addictive. How do they do all this together? Ladies and gentlemen, it's about time to figure it out. So, that's showtime! This is our Earth, our planet, our home, and our beautiful world. You may ever hear the songs which have pressed for the blue sky, green trees, and beautiful oceans. We live here, we grow here. Yet, by the certain change on our industrial societies, fine ash in the air, west and pollutions all around our sea, land, forests, and rivers. Is this the very only end that we can only head to? Before today, the answer might be sadly to be yes. But after today, you can embrace the chance to make the changes happen. To embrace the world, choose to be with Ombre. As an experienced member in the fiber industry, we, Manchun, have been putting efforts to work by saving better worlds for our own futures. This is not only a development on products, but also a gift with bless to all our offsprings, to all the living lives in our Earth. Working by Ombre Young, you can have the chance to save up more than 50% of energies which might be consumed before, reduce more than 60% of CO2 emissions, save up more than 75% of the water which might be wasted by traditional productions. And what is the best is, you can have the chance to use only about 10% of chemical usage than you have ever done before. Umbrian is not only just a regular dove dye which we can only provide the colors in solid color ways by minutest colors, but also by our special color formula and unique device, we can have the colors but, uh, to be spread into, spread into 80 different degrees of fabrics to make, your, to make your item colorful, to make your development better, and to make your own style unique. Rather than traditional dyeing process, you might need to be worried about the color fastness issues, whether my customer uh, will have the cross stain problems after they buy our stuff back to home, or whether my choice on colors will be an issue for fastness or image. By Ombre Young, you don't need to uh, confess the problem like this than ever. Less worry you need to be more guarantees you can have for your customers. And the best thing is, this is the more thing you can help our Mother Earth. 
Imagine while you're heading home after a busy working day, you're exhausted and you're tired. But if you ever rest up your head and look into the blue skylight, you will find sunset burning with golden and orange ombre light merging with the early night skies. That you'll find. Yes, this is worth it. This is the world you have saved from your wise choice. This is the natural colors you have chosen to embrace by your own, by ombre. Hello, Ken. Ciao, Ivan. Hola. <laughs> oh, it's very nice to have you here to introduce us. This beautiful gradient color and uh, the dough dot yarn is very different, right? Uh, but we have some questions for you, especially for the theory for the dough dot yarn. How could it be th this kind of beautiful gradient color with only one batch? Okay, because basically for the dough dot yarns, the colors will be uh, just spread by the master batch, yes. like this one, mm -hmm. and then into one single color, which is quite of uh, monotonous. Mm -hmm. But by our special uh, color formula and our unique device mm -hmm. for the vibrators of the production machines, we can have our raw materials, our master bag, to be spread into 80 different colors in one's production. Oh, so what you mean is uh, they all starting from here, the master batch, no matter, for example, is black. Yep. So it will become at the same time from here to the pure black to light gray. the light gray. Yes. With only one the same batch. Yes, you just need oh. to have the production in once. Cool. So can you use the products we have right now to give us some detailed example? Okay, just like this. Mm -hmm. We can oh. have the color red uh, to turn into color mangoes, mm -hmm. and then we come back as the red colors for the deepest one. Okay, so from apple to mango, back to apple. Yes, from <laughs> sunset to down, and you go back to sunset. Wow, how beautiful it is, just like here, right? Yes. Wow. From lighter mm -hmm. to deeper. But even through this uh, top dye yarn, it is not only just solid or some boring colors. Mm -hmm. You can see we are still quite colorful in yeah. various types. So we can choose whatever color we like from the master batch to the gradient colors. Yes. Wow. But I still have one question. This kind of yarn uh, looks like different, but how different exactly compared to the traditional yarn? For most of the mm -hmm. buyers, the most important one is for the color fastness issue. Because for top dye yarns, we have the color already into the yarns, mm -hmm. or you can say into the master bag. Uh, just like spaghetti, mm -hmm. we can have the ingredients like cacos or the cuttlefish juice mm -hmm. to be poured into the raw material of noodles, and then you spread into different colors of noodles. Oh, so itself has the color, so yes. you don't have to add anything else. So that's why we can uh, save or reduce 90% of chemical addictives. Yes, and also we can provide a better fastness mm -hmm. than traditional production dyeing. Yeah, safe energy and safe time. Yes. Cool. So ladies and gentlemen, this is our old friend, our new brand, Ombre. And if you like our products, like anything here, please don't forget. We are from Ombre. Yay. the plastic item and bottles take on biodegradation? Normally, it takes 1,000 years on plastic items and bottles takes 450 years. Oh my god, that's more than 5 to 10 generations. But now, ladies and gentlemen, there's a new material, the metric yarn. The metric yarn only takes 7 to 10 years on biodegradation 
And next company we're going to introduce you is the Yixin Textile Industrial Company. They are focused on making the functional elastic yarn. Today, they're going to bring you their newest product, the Magic Yarn. Ladies and gentlemen, showtime! Hello everyone, my name is Zoe. It's good to see you here. And um, I think the pandemic did change the way we communicate. And I can't get to see you face to face. And uh, but I'm not really used to talk to a camera. But anyway, I'll try. So I'll give you a short introduction of our company, and then we will go to uh, our latest product, BS, our biodegradable enhancement solution. Okay. Our company was established in 2013, and we were going public in last year in 2019. And our main product is functional elastic yarn. We do both DTY and ACY. And our headquarters is in Taipei, and our manufacturing site is in Zhonghua, the central Taiwan. And here is a glance of our manufacturing site. The production capacity is 2,200 tons a month, and the number of employees is 200. Okay, this is the focus today, our BES biodegradable enhancement solution. It is a solution which can be treated as general polyester yarn, and it can also be circled back to the general recycle loop, because the very first step of recycle is to recycle the virgin material. And as for the biodegradability, it is verified by ASTM D5511 for the landfill and ASTM D6691 for the ocean. And the methane generated after degradation can be turned to energy. And in this page, you will see the biodegradation process. Uh, we turn regular of hydrophobic polyesters into hydrophilic one. And those hydrophilic polyesters will go into the landfill, because our theory is um, the final destination for those textile products will be uh, in the landfill, because uh, the real recycle for those textile products is to go into the second hand store. And so in the landfill, it is an anaerobic environment, so they will start conducting anaerobic digestion. And the very first step of anaerobic digestion is hydrolysis. Hydrolysis is to break down the molecular chains of the polymers and to turn polymers from big to small. And they will become easier for those microorganisms to consume them as food. And those different lots of microorganisms will complete the, uh, the whole process of anaerobic digestion. And after degradation, the production will be water, carbon dioxide, biomass, and the key, uh, methane. And methane is a reliable fuel source, and it can also be collected and turned to electricity and to uh, activate everything which can be powered by electricity. And this is the uh, test result of uh, ASTM D5511 for the landfill. And the very, uh, the, the very first test result is uh, the biodegradability is 17.2% after 147 days. And this is the second test result. And the biodegradability is 27.6% after 219 days. And this is the latest test result. It's, uh, the biodegradability is uh, 34 percent after 237 days. And this is the task for the ocean. And the first test result uh, it shows the biodegradability is 8.9 percent after 125 days. And the latest test result for the ocean is 19.6 percent after 234 days. Okay, here is the most critical question, microparticles. This is a stage which every way of biodegradation will go through. But the most important thing is how long will it last? Um, according to research, it takes around 450 years for a plastic bottle to biodegrade naturally. With our solution, the estimated time period of degradation will be around seven to 10 years. So here you can see the huge difference between uh, 450 years and seven to 10 years. And you can see how different they, their influence to the environment. And the reason why we do the test for the ocean is uh, because uh, every day when you wash your clothes, uh, those microparticles will go into the ocean through the sewage system. And we have to make sure that those microparticles will also be biodegraded properly. So that's the reason why we do the test for the ocean. And here you can see a link of our video. 
And I don't think we have that enough time to uh, see the video now. So, um, but anyway, I'll email you the PPT file, and you can enjoy the video yourself. And in this page, you'll see the collection of methane. And uh, it is an idea of uh, recycle the methane and reuse it. And here as a map shows the locations of the currently operational landfill gas energy projects in the States. It's just for your reference. And uh, well, we offer eco-friendly products to our customers, and we would like to do more for the environmental protection. So we set up an uh, eco-friendly production process, and which we call it LIMIT. LIMIT is L-E-M-T-T, -T, and the first L is labor. It is to go higher automation and to, re uh, to save the labor force. And E is for energy, is to reduce the uh, consum electricity consumption and uh, to lessen the carbon emission. And the M is for material, is to use less cartons and to reduce the use of paper and to avoid trees being hacked. And the first T is for transportation, is to reduce the times of transportation and to lessen the oil consumption. And the last T is for time, is to adjust uh, working hours properly and to give a better work-life balance. And in this page, you'll see our certification. And we are an ISO and GRS certified company. Here is our customers. In garments and shoes, we have Nike, Adidas, Mizuno. And in garments, for garments, we have Under Armour, Lululemon, Columbia, Uniqlo, Gap, Decathlon, and Target. And for the automotive industry, we have GM, Volkswagen, Toyota, and Honda. Here is my contact details, and uh, you can see my email here, and you can see my contact number here. Uh, so uh, email me, call me, uh, do whatever, reach me to get the PPD file. Then uh, we can get to have more time to talk about things that I don't have enough time to talk about today. So thank you very much for your time, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you. Hello, Zoe. Hi, Evan. Thank you for your great presentation. Thank you. And we see a lot of things in front of me. Could you right. introduce us? OK, yes. Um, apparently, this is biodegradable yarn. Mm -hmm. Yes. And those are the fabrics that are made by our biodegradable yarn. And here is the woven fabric. Oh, this is simple, beautiful blue. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and it feels like the normal polyester yarn. Yeah. Yes, that's right. But you can try the fabric and you can see the elastic property okay. that we have. Yeah, because okay. that's your specialty. That's right. Oh, wow. The performance is really good. See? Wow. I like to wear this kind of clothes when doing sports. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Thank you. And the most important thing is uh, biodegradable fabric, right? Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think a lot of people have the same question as I am. As what is the difference between the recycled material and the biodegradation material? All right. Um, as for the recycled products, and the material of recycled yarn is from things like uh, used plastic, mm -hmm. plastic bottles. Yes. yes. And we chop those plastic bottles into flakes mm -hmm. here. And we do the depolymerization and repolymerization, and we get the chips. And uh, we do the spinning, and we get the yarn. So that's the, how the recycled yarn is coming from. Mm -hmm. And for, as for the biodegradable yarn, um, it is, uh, we, do, we have our secret recipe mm -hmm. added in those plastic chips. Mm -hmm. and, so, uh, and we do the spinning, and we get the biodegradable yarn. Okay, so the secret is in the recipe, right? Yeah, the, the secret <laughs> recipe is in the chips. And yes. I heard you have a new step, right, to combine the two things together. That's right, that's right. Because uh, we are going to have a combination of mm -hmm. these two. So we are going to have a recycled version of BES, our biodegradable solution, biodegradable enhancement solution in recycled form. Wow, that can solve a lot of environmental problems. That's right. I'm so looking forward to it. Thank you. And the next question is, we all know now the BES is a very special material and very useful for material. That's but right. But what kind of products and fabric can you exactly do in? Yeah. 
as I mentioned in the mm -hmm. BPD, um, it can be treated as general regular polyester yarn. Mm -hmm. So um, everything that uh, general regular polyester yarn can do, we mm -hmm. can do it as well. Wow, so basically is anything, everything you use in a daily life that needs yarn, you can make it. That's right. Wow. So ladies and gentlemen, today we mm. made the first meet with the BES and the BES yarn fabric can make our life different. And this is all from Yixin. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you like it. This is the first day of two days textile new product online launch. If you like our video, don't forget to like it and share it to your friends. If you missed any part of our video or you want to watch it again, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. We'll put on more video and also today's video on the YouTube and the Facebook in the same time. If you have any questions, or you are interested in any of our company, please don't be hesitate to scan our QR code or click link below. Let us know your information and your ideas. We will bring you more information and more videos. Tomorrow, we have one more day, the same time as today, 4 p.m. Taiwan time. We'll see you online. Bye.